Hello everybody, welcome to the Dragon's Lair. Um, this is episode 65, I believe, of unboxing videos. And um, we're going to be unboxing um, January's Retro Pop Box, the 1980s. <clears throat> I get the 1980s because that's the era I grew up in. I was born in 73, so I remember the 80s the most. With this company, Retro um, Pop Box, you can get the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And what it is, it's stuff from that era, plus a, a t-shirt. And it comes monthly. It's $19.99 a month. Um, it's a really good box, especially if you like walking down memory lane. So, um, they're usually, sometimes they're a little bit bigger, but usually they're this size. Because you usually only get about four or five items in them, and they're small items. So, and when you open it, this is what you see. It's all sealed. With the logo, slogan that says, to the max. Um, I'll put ordering information down below. Um, and then my my website so you can go check out past um photos of unboxings or you can check out video the unpassed unboxing videos of these of anything uh, but if you like you could subscribe um i am close to hitting 500 subscribers so when i do that i will be doing a video on uh about the rules and everything for a contest for um well, helping me reach 500 subscribers, which will be cool. Um, and then I'm also, I'm sorry I didn't get back to doing a nerd block customer service video. I'm still trying to figure out how to do it to where I don't get too angry or too upset about it. So it will be coming. Um, probably today, tonight, or tomorrow. Uh, sorry. Uh. But um, let's get unboxing. First, we have a t-shirt. They're usually the soft t-shirt. Uh, they're, they're always exclusive retro t-shirts, which is cool. And they're almost like jersey material. And it says, I, I, it says, I love it when a plan comes together. And it's in the shape of the A-Team van. Which is cool. I loved the A Team when I was a kid. I watched it. All, I watched all four years of it. I thought they were cool, and I even have an autographed photo from Dirk um, Dwight Schultz. And I met. Also got a photo of him with me and him together. And I also have met um, Dirk Benedict. Who played um, Face, but not Face in the f pilot episode. I can't remember the actor who played Face in the pilot episode. But when they were filming the pilot episode, Dirk Benedict was doing something else. Some people have suggested that he was filming the final episode of Battlestar Galactic in 1980. But that that was in 1980. And A-Team took place in 80, or started in 84. So that wasn't the case. So the only exclusive item you get in this month's box is the t-shirt. You get a uh, nerd lip balm, nerds candy. You could have gotten, I got, looks like I got multi-flavored, rainbow flavored. You could have gotten cherry, lemon, grape, Strawberry or rainbow, which is cool. Yeah, I prefer my regular chapstick. Don't get me wrong, this is cool, but the rainbow flavor, I just regular, r rather have um, the chapstick. And then you get the wacky wallet, wallies, wally. 
which is the thing you throw at the wall and it'll slowly crawl down. And this month's um, Retro Pop Box Fun Fact, each month has a fun fact, which gives you the history of some of one of the items. And this is the history of the of these wacky wallers. So if you pause the video, you could read the um, There we go. And you'd be able to read the um, the fun fact. Next we have the Pezzes. Yes, Pezzes have been around be long before the 80s, but the Turtles came out in the 80s. So it's a Turtle Pez, which is cool. I collect, I, which is cool because I collect certain Pezzes. I have Pezzes from cartoons and comic books, so I don't have too many, but... And then last in the box, we have Wall 360 Wall Graphics. Um, and Wall Graphics have been around since the 80s. You usually had, like, Star Wars or G.I. Joe Wall Graphics, but this one is a Wall Graphic of a cassette. Which is cool. And I actually still have some cassettes. And what a wall graph graphic is, is you take a bare wall and instead of hanging fo photos up on it, like in a kid's room or in a den or something, you put the graphics all over the place and decorate it that way. So those are usually, those are the items you got in this month's box. Um, they're really cool items. I give it, I give it a 4.5. So it's really worth it, um, and if you if you were born in the '60s and grew up in the '70s, '70s boxes are cool. I don't get them because I don't remember the '70s much. I remember Star Wars coming out in '77, um, Alien in '79 or '78, and Star Trek: The Motion Picture in '79. Those are about the only things I actually remember from the '70s. Besides, um, first grade photos, I mean, corduroy bell bottoms, but that's a whole different story. Um, so if you like this box, subscribe to it. Um, they're really cool boxes. I like them. I have not really been completely disappointed in them. There are a few items in there that I prefer not to have because I didn't even like them when they were original back in the 80s but you know what that's me um so stay tuned and watch more chan more videos of this um more updates and more um reviews I'm going to be doing more video more mu movie reviews because I've been requested that I should do more movie reviews after doing Rogue One review so I'll probably I'll be doing that. I'll probably be doing a review of Emerald City Comic Con in March when it's when we when I go. And then our Pacific Northwest writers and science fiction fantasy horror convention called um, Norwest Con. It's a really cool convention. I've been going to that for let's see. This is going to be its 40th year. I've been going for 35, 25, let's see, 20 to 40, yeah, 25 years, I've been going for 25 years, 20, maybe, um, maybe it's been 30. I think 30 years I've been going to it almost. No, that wouldn't be right. Let's see. 25 years I've been going to it. Wow. A uh, quarter of a century. 
sorry now today my eyes are hurting um but other than that enjoy the day have fun stay safe and sound bye